Yum Cha, simplified Chinese, Yin Cha Yin Cha, traditional Chinese, Yin Cha Jiyutping, Yam Tu Cha 4, Cantonese Yale, Yam Cha, lit. Drink tea. Also known as going for dim sum, is the Cantonese tradition of brunch involving Chinese tea and dim sum. The practice is popular in Cantonese-speaking regions, including Guangdong, Guangxi, Hong Kong and Macau. It is also carried out in other regions worldwide where there are overseas Chinese communities. Yum cha generally involves small portions of steamed pan-fried, and deep-fried dim sum dishes served in bamboo steamers, which are designed to be eaten communally and washed down with tea. People often go to yum cha in large groups for family get-togethers or celebrations. Terminology Yum cha in Cantonese Chinese literally means, drink tea. The phrase dim sum is sometimes used in place of yum cha. In Cantonese, dim sum dian shin refers to the range of small dishes, whereas yum cha refers to the entire meal. Serving Traditionally, yum cha is practiced in the morning or early afternoon, hence the terms chow cha, zao, morning tea, or ha ing cha, sha wu, afternoon tea. When appropriate, the former is also known as yum chow cha, yin zao cha which literally means drinking morning tea. There has been a recent trend for restaurants to offer dim sum during dinner hours and even late at night, though most venues still generally reserve the serving of dim sum for breakfast and lunch periods. The combination of morning tea, afternoon tea, evening tea, lunch and dinner is known as sam cha liang fan, san cha liang, three tea, two meal. The history of the tradition can be traced back to the period of Shanfeng Emperor, who first referred to establishments serving tea as Yi Li Guan, Yi Li, one cent house. These offered a place for people to gossip, which became known as Cha Wa, Cha, tea talk. These tea houses grew to become their own type of restaurant, and the action of going there is Yum Cha. The ways in which dim sum is served has varied over the years. The traditional method, known as Taoe Ce, Tui, push cart, dates back to the early 1960s, when dim sum items were pre-cooked in advance in the kitchen and brought out into the dining area in baskets by the restaurant employees. These people are generally called Fogai, Huo, staff. However, customers commonly address staff using the slang terms Leng Zai, Jing, handsome guy, or Leng Lui, Leng Jia, Jing Nu Jing, pretty girl or pretty lady. Later on, pushable trolleys with a heating function, often using gas, were used, allowing more items to be brought out at once. Employees would call out the items they were carrying, and a customer who want to order items would then notify the server, who would place the desired items on the table. This allows the customers receive hot fresh items quickly and is efficient during periods of high patronage. Nowadays, many dim sum restaurants have instead adopted a paper-based a la carte ordering system. This method allows only those items which have been ordered to be prepared in the kitchen, reducing the need for leftovers as well as minimizing waste food or ingredients. A few restaurants use both approaches to serving, making use of push trolleys during peak hours and switching to on-demand ordering in less busier periods. The cost of a meal was traditionally calculated by the number and size of dishes left on the patron's table at the end. In modern yum cha restaurants, dim sum servers sometimes mark orders by stamping a card on the table. Servers in some restaurants use different stamps so that sales statistics for each server can be recorded. Customs and etiquette It is customary to pour tea for others before filling one's own tea cup. It is considered good manners to be the first to pour tea. Tea drinkers may tap the table with two, occasionally one, fingers of the same hand in a gesture known as finger kowtow, symbolizing thanks. According to a just a story, this gesture recreates a tale of imperial obeisance and can be traced to the Qianlong Emperor of the Qing Dynasty, who used to travel incognito. While visiting the Jiangnan region, he once went into a tea house with his companions. In order to maintain his anonymity, he took his turn at pouring tea. His companions wanted to kowtow, but to do so would have revealed the identity of the emperor. Finally, one of them tapped three fingers on the table, one finger representing their bowed head and the other two representing their prostrate arms. It is considered rude to have a teacup full of tea, it is preferred that tea is poured until the cup is about 80% full. 
The Chinese proverb, Cha Man Chi Ke Ju Man Jing Ren that literally means, it is fraud for the guest if the tea cup is full, but it is a sign of respect when it is alcohol. See also dim sum table sharing Dai Pai Dong Cha Chan Teng Ti, meal, notes references and further reading everything you want to know about Chinese cooking by Pearl Kong Chen, Tian Kai Chen, and Rose Seng. Woodbury, New York, Barron's, 1983. How to Cook and Eat in Chinese by Bu Wei Yang Chao. New York, The John Day Company, 1945. Dim Sum, The Delicious Secrets of Home Cooked Chinese Tea Lunch by Rhoda Yi. San Francisco, Taylor and Ng, 1977. Classic Dim Sum by Henry Chan, Yukiko, and Bob Haydock. New York, Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston, 1985. Chinese Dessert, Dim Sum and Snack Cookbook edited by Wanona Chong. New York, Sterling, 1986. Tiny Delights, Companion to the TV Series by Elizabeth Chong. Melbourne, Forte Communications, 2002.